So I am uh, Sergeant Chase Forrester with the Kenosha Sheriff's Department. I am in charge of everything via body camera for the Sheriff's Department. Uh, we're going to start out here because of the rain issue. Uh, this is one of our F-150s with the uh, newly installed Rocket IoT system from Body Worn by Utility. We have installed every squad that we have with the new Rocket IoT system. It took us about two and a half weeks to get everything installed. A lot of hard work. We did it. Um, the new system has very little cameras in it. It has a front camera and it has a camera in the rear seat so we can now see the person that is arrested or the inmate that's being transported. A couple of the different triggers that happens with each squad car with the body camera is if the deputy is inside the squad car and he turns his lights, the red and blue lights on, and opens his door, it'll automatically trigger the body camera to start automatically recording. So he doesn't have actually physically do anything to start recording. The second he has his red and blue lights, the squad cam inside automatically starts recording. Once he opens his door, the body camera automatically starts recording. If he hits his gun lock button to take out the rifle, the body camera and the squad camera will automatically also start recording. And then if he hits 90 miles per hour, the squad camera will automatically start recording. So there's a lot of fail safes and different triggers in the system to help capture those really important moments so we don't miss anything. So I would like to show you those different triggers, but since it's kind of close quarters here, we're gonna have to get close and familiar with each other. You're gonna have to get close to hear these different triggers going off in my vest, because the body camera is currently in my vest. Okay, so those of you who wanna hear these triggers, you're gonna have to come over to the driver's side of the vehicle. I'm get kinda of comfortable here. The new cameras that we have, if you see right by the rear view mirror, is this little tiny, I don't know what you wanna call it, a bullet camera, a lipstick camera, a little tiny camera. Before we had these huge boxes that would actually obstruct our view somewhat, right? So they turned them into these little tiny cameras, you know, the new technology, we can have that stuff. Uh, they're high definition cameras, they're, they're very efficient. So the deputy's inside the vehicle. I'm going to close the door for this purpose. And he flips his lights on. It automatically starts recording so the people who can see the computer there's a big record button that's flashing red, and I also have on this pillar here a little light that's red, so it gives the, the driver a notification that something's recording. I don't know what's happening out there. Uh, so, okay, we're actively recording right now. So, like, if we have done a traffic stop, right, now the deputy is going to get out of their vehicle to go contact them. And one of the triggers, so the deputy doesn't have to mess around with the camera, is once we have popped the door, if you listen really closely, you'll hear it. It just said recording, so now it's actively recording. I, I literally did nothing to make it start recording. Okay? So once the deputy is finished with the traffic stop, all he does is come with this little watch on here, and we'll show you this in there, but I can press on the stop button, and it says stop recording. I go on the computer, enter the evidence that I need to enter, and, and that's, that's as simple as that. That's how it's, it, simple it is in the squad car. Is there any questions on what I just did? Yes. When you say start recording, <laughs> what part is it recording? I mean, where? Uh, in the front? Yeah, yeah so it when, it's re when it's actively recording, this little camera up here is recording, and the one in the back seat is also recording with audio. So, and that would be for uh, the people inside, or what happens when you get outside? Or if I'm standing it's, here? It's always recording until I stop it. But I mean, you can see everything that is going all around the car. Just, just this camera facing forward, and then in the rear passenger, in the rear seat. So you cannot see what's going no. on. No, no, there's no cameras on the outside. Here. Should we put Gabe in the back so we can see? I'm too big, I'm gonna try. No, you're not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of friends here, Harry. I need your help, buddy. If, uh, if you want to see the new setup, feel free to poke your head in. It's fine, otherwise we can go back inside, or if you have any other questions, please let me know. Yes, it's up here, that bubble camera. And it's going to do discovery and public record and stuff like that? I'm a guy. So you can ask me a question, but I'm sure with every demand for discovery, you get word. Good word. So I'm serious. Film on that front camera. 
Thank you. 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 Thank you.